My name is Max Siegfeld. I am seven years old and I live in Madison Park. The name of my story is The Great Snake Escape. Zane, Mr. Spider, and Spikey all sit around the campfire laughing and telling stories all night. I'm Zane. I'm the guy who has handled the most venomous snakes, like the Black Mamba. Mr. Spider is very funny and very loyal. Spikey is a biologist and very caring and nice to snakes. Hey guys, remember that spinning cobra that escaped the lab? Mr. Spite says, yeah, that snake is really crazy. That snake caused a lot of mayhem and chaos with the eye who got spat in the eye with venom, says Spikey. I got that computer chip from our neighbor, Oni. Thank goodness that I put it on the snake before it escaped. As we talked through the night, the memories were as clear as a movie. The snake struggled one evening and was knocking the door loose from the cage. He followed the 50-mile stream to the one-down power plant. Radioactive remains leak from the power plant and float like oil in a holding pond. The spinning cobra slithered through the murky pond and snuck its way into Freddy Fang's house window. By the time we got to Freddy Fang's house, he was fully energized. Spiky says, I hold Freddy scream like it feels like boiling acid. Freddy Fang got venom in his eyes. We walked frantically to make an antidote. Zane mixed up a lot of batches, but none of them worked. Mr. Spike pulled out his toolbox, and in the bottom drawer was his venom needle. Zane used this to measure the snake's venom that it lost. Finally, after the calculations, he was able to find the cure. Man, that was a crazy time, said Zane. Freddy Fang had his life in danger, and we really saved him. We also put him in danger too, says Mr. Spike, shaking his head. That's why I love being a scientist, says Spikey. Finding solutions to the real problems is so exciting and challenging. What will be our next adventure? The end.